Hey everybody, it's Aaron. Today we're going to be discussing an application called Copy Handler. Copy Handler is a replacement tool for Windows Move and Copy commands. It gives you a little bit more flexibility, allows you to pause when you're copying or moving something, allows you to queue them up. Um, it's really a pretty big time saver. Supposedly it's got built-in algorithms that does a better job and faster job of copying. But really, at least case scenario, it really does give you a little bit more flexibility. Let me show you how this application works. First, we're going to go to Google. We're going to type in Copy Handler. It's going to take you to their website, which is just copyhandler.com. We're going to click on Download. As you can see, this is a SourceForge project. When this pulls up, what we're interested in is these top two. You'll notice one's the i386, which is a Windows 32 application, and then a Windows 64 application. Most of you will probably use the 32-bit. Go ahead and download and install the application. Once installed, I'm going to show you how we use it. I'm just going to go somewhere I got some big move, big files we can move. So uh, very simple, not much to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop this to my desktop. You're going to notice I have some new commands available. I've got ch copy here, ch move here, ch copy move special. I'm just going to go ahead and choose the ch copy here. Now what's going to happen is you're going to notice down in the bottom corner of my window I'm going to get a little pop-up that's going to show me the files being copied. As you can see I can click the file I can pause, I can play, I can stop it if I want to. It'll show me not only the, the um, total progress for just this file, but it'll show me the total progress overall. Now the nice thing about this is if I grab another file and drag and copy it, you're going to notice that it just queues them both up. What happens with copy handler? It's going to copy the first file. Once it finishes that, it's going to continue to process the queue. If you want to, you can actually double click this window now what's going to happen is it's going to pull up a full status window. You'll notice on the left hand side it's going to show me what's being copied and what's currently in my queue. It's going to give me some pause, restarts, cancels, remove. It's going to give me a whole bunch of options here that I can do with my files. On the right hand side you're going to notice it's going to show me details about the copy. Where it's copying from, where it's copying to, how quickly it's copying. It's going to really show me some pretty detailed information. Most of you probably won't use this window much. I don't. Um, it's just kind of nice if you want to track to see how fast it's copying over there. Now, what you'll be able to do with this queue here at the bottom is I can choose this one. I can go ahead and hit pause. It's going to pause the entire copy job. It'll pause that one. It'll start the next one. I can obviously pause that one as well. I can restart this one and play it. I can go ahead and hit play on this one as well. We'll notice that there's going to be a um, progress bar here at the bottom for all the files that are currently copying. Uh, the tool is actually very easy to use. Um, there's really not much to it. I really like being able to pause the downloads. Um, one thing is, especially with having a media server, I move a lot of big files. And it's nice to be able to pause that in case I do want to do something. Um, you'll notice it does put a little icon here in the bottom of your window. If you right click on this and you go to options, there is really a ton of options. If you wanted to monitor your clipboard, it can really do a lot of things. My recommendation is I would look through some of these, see what works for you, and definitely set the ones that are applicable. Another thing you want to do is if you go over here, you right click and you go to tools and you go to register, shell extension DLL. What that's going to do is it's really going to replace Windows copy and move, copy and pay, or I'm sorry, copy and move utility. That is what is allows me to have the right click ability that shows these commands. If I don't do that, I'd actually have to launch the application. Again, very small application, doesn't do a whole lot. Um, it does allow you to have that queue, which is really really nice. Um, if any of you do have any questions though when using it, please feel free to let me know. Thanks.